guys, my name is Caleb, and I'm going to be showing you how to solve a 2x2 two Rubik's Cube. This is a simple and easy beginner method. Um, so I'm going to show you the different parts of the cube and how you turn it. Alright, so here are the colors. We have white, green, orange, blue, red, and yellow. So these are their opposites. We have white, the opposite of white is yellow. The opposite of yellow is white. Green, the opposite of green is blue. The opposite of blue is green. The opposite of orange is red. The opposite of red is orange. So here's the way you turn them. This is right clockwise. Right counterclockwise. Left clockwise left counterclockwise, back clockwise, back counterclockwise, forward clockwise, forward counterclockwise, top clockwise, top counterclockwise, bottom clockwise and bottom counterclockwise. All right, so let's get into solving this thing. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up and then we're gonna move on to step one. Alright, so the step one is solving the white, as you saw. There's really no algorithm to the white, it's just trying to get all the whites in one spot. Um, so if you have a white corner that looks like this, that says Rubix, Rubix.com below that, then that's the side that you want to solve it on. But if you don't, you can um, solve it on any other white corners that you find around the cube. So I'm going to solve it with my logo. So there's really no algorithm to the white, like I said. So I'm just gonna um, let y'all try to get all the whites in the right spot. Now, if it's up here in the top, you're gonna have to do right counterclockwise, bottom clockwise, and right clockwise. And then you have it at the bottom. All right, whenever you're done, we're moving on to step two. Okay, so now we're gonna solve the top row. If you don't, if you have any like two matching, which would be here, or here, or here, or here, then you would have to find those and then flip it to the opposite side. So like, let's say that these two are matching. So I would flip it to the opposite side, which would be over here. So, this is the algorithm to solve it, and if you don't have any like me, then you have to do this algorithm twice. So you're gonna do right counterclockwise, bottom clockwise, right clockwise, left clockwise, bottom counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, bottom clockwise, and right clockwise. So if you don't, so now I have two matching right now. So this was, so this is orange, and then this is red. So I would have to flip. So I, so I would face the orange towards me, and then I would flip it behind me, and then I would have to do that algorithm again. Right, counterclockwise, bottom clockwise, right clockwise, left clockwise, bottom counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, bottom clockwise, and right clockwise. So now I have all of my top rows solved. Okay, so the next step is to solve the yellow. So if you have different designs than I do, since I have one in the corner, well, first of all, let, let me just get this straight. 
So you want to um, solve it like you want to have the white facing down and the yellow facing up, of course. And then find um, a color that you'd like to solve the yellow on. I like blue. Um, but you can solve it on whichever, which any um, color you'd like. But I like to solve it on blue. So this is so if you have one right here, you want to put it over here. So you're just gonna flip it counterclockwise. So now if you have a design like me, one here and one here, you're gonna have the yellow solved already. But if you have different designs than me, then you can just um, mess around with it and just wait until you solve the yellow. So this is the algorithm. Right, clockwise, top, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, top, clockwise, right, clockwise, top, clockwise, twice, one, two, and then right counterclockwise. So now I have the yellow solved. If you don't, if you didn't have the design that I have, which would be one here and one here, then you have to do the algorithm however the various times you need to. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the last and final step is to solving this row. So now you're gonna have to look around to see if you have any two matching. I have orange, it's already on the orange spot, so this is solved. Not everything is solved already. So you're gonna, um, if you don't have like, if, like if this is over here, you're gonna have to flip it all the way back to the orange. And if you don't have any matching, then you're gonna have to um, pick a side or just stay on the color that you um, saw the yellow on and do this algorithm twice. But if you already do have one, flip it to the side that is, flip it to the color that it's supposed to be on, and then do this algorithm with me, and then face it the opposite way. So this is the algorithm. Right, counterclockwise, forward, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, back, two, black, clockwise, two times, right, clockwise, forward, counterclockwise, Right, counterclockwise, back two times clockwise, and then you can turn it whichever way you want, the clock, um, clockwise or counterclockwise. And if you didn't have any matching like before, then you're going to have to do the algorithm again and face it and um, put the top two that are matching on this color that it's supposed to be and then flip it to the opposite side. But if you don't have to do it twice, you have just completed the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Remember to um, drop a like and smash that subscribe button and um, turn on those push notifications. Thanks for watching.